So another topic that has come um, to me by popular demand is the dentist. And I don't know why people consider the dentist to be just a horrible, horrible place to go. It's actually a great place to go. It's preventative care. But I think most parents feel frustrated with the dentist because of the reaction they get from their children. Um, nobody really likes anybody poking in their mouth. It can be a very sensitive area. But we do know that it's important our kids are learning that process and learning the significance of it. So like I always say, my mantra is preparing or planning for difficult situations. I have several clients that um, now actually don't have a problem with the dentist, but it was really horrible when they first started to go. So we worked out a plan and it's, it's not a horrible process anymore. Um, we do have on our, our resource list a list of several sensory friendly dentists. I think uh, number one, interview your dentist. Find an office that understands your kiddo and that you feel comfortable working with. That's the most important. Second, um, dentists that are sensory friendly will usually allow you to tour the office with your kiddo when they're not undergoing treatment. I think actually going in there and having something done can be very overwhelming at the same time. So tour through, definitely go to a pediatric dentist. Many of them have private rooms, so if your child gets very overwhelmed, they can be seen in a private room. Some of them have um, different games and activities they can do while the dentist is um, working on them or doing procedures, and that distracts them. So it really depends on your kiddo. What works for one doesn't always work for the other. That's why I said it's important to go interview them and look at the office and see if you see your child being a fit in there. Also, definitely present a um, some sort of story or um, uh, picture sequence that shows the dentist. What does the dentist do? Why do we go to the dentist? I think these are important steps because I don't think our kids understand why they're even going there. You can also start out with a very um, brief consultation. Maybe they don't even go into your child's mouth, they just look at their mouth. So I would suggest taking very slow steps adding one step at a time. I have several families that come here for treatment be right before they go to the dentist's office. I have some that come here for treatment right after the dentist's office. It really depends on your kiddo, but your therapist can give you some great suggestions on that. And um, I always recommend slower, this is my quote, slower is faster. You're going to get accomplished what you want to get accomplished if you plan it out and you're methodical and you're slow about it and you're not impulsive. Oftentimes, it's that impulsive push that um, pushes our kids right over the edge. And many of them, once they experience that, then you take 10 steps backward. So it's important that we don't send them backward. But I have kids, like I said, they don't have a problem with the dentist at all anymore. They actually like to go. Um, if your child does well with reinforcement, a lot of the dentists build um, their treatment plan on offering reinforcement for compliant behavior at the end. So. Um, it's an important skill and it's not a skill to be dreaded, but remember, we're always here to make recommendations and to help you with that process.